Welcome back, everyone. All right, I'm going to say it before you say it. Look TV has gone to the dogs. You knew I was going to start with something like that. You especially knew I was going to start with something like that. Uh, we got three very special guests today. And I think, uh, uh, let's start with Piper. Hello, Piper. Woof. You in there, Piper. Good to see you. And joining Piper and Jesse are Sheila O'Connor and Darlene Hayes. They're with SPCA of Warren County. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to all three ladies. <laughs> yes. She's feeling welcome. That, uh, she feels welcome now. That's good. Um, we invited them to come on for a number of reasons. Uh, there's an event coming up this Saturday in Glens Falls that we want to tell you about. But overall, anybody who has grown up with a pet, and that could be a dog, a cat, in the case of my cousin, a turtle, <laughs> but it, uh, you realize that there's such a wonderful relationship, which I think is being demonstrated right here, <laughs> between humans and pets, and the rewards that we reap, and they do too probably, of the kind of relationship that we're about to talk about, I think is very unique in the world, don't you? Agreed, absolutely. You know, uh, so I know I'm talking to the, uh, the believers here. Mm -hmm. the, uh, tell us a, a bit about SPCA, okay? So the Warren County SPCA is um, an animal control uh, facility. We are uh, contracting with various towns in the county to do animal control. It's kind of a complex picture of what we do, but it includes cats, dogs, wildlife, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So we have a hotline, you have an animal situation, you give us a call, and um, we kind of tackle it for you. Now I understand also that you uh, work in conjunction with other law enforcement agencies in Warren County. Say if there's a situation where someone is breaking the law and they have a pet with them that they call you to come in and take care of that. So things yes. like that? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, right. um, we work in conjunction with law enforcement. We are peace officers ourselves, right. but um, we work in conjunction with law enforcement. If they have a situation where there's a dog they need removed, sometimes a dog will be guarding a body, you know, if someone's ill or what, whatnot, mm -hmm. we'll come in and take that dog out so they can proceed with what they need to do. Mm -hmm. Now, um, your role in this my role. You're the fundraiser for SPCA. Yes, I coordinate all the fundraising. And in terms of fun what kind of fundraising do you do? What you're really trying to do is find homes for pets. Yes, and we, in a lot um, of ways, right? we, we do a lot of fundraisers to raise the money to help also with uh, medical bills that they, you know, may occur. You know, if the animal needs to be spayed, neutered, if it's injured, needs operations. <laughs> It, just its regular shots, all that costs money, food, shelter, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So what I try to do is form some kind of a fundraiser that's fun for everybody to attend right. and make it all worthwhile. I mean, we just had a, a bowling, the bowling uh, mm -hmm. pins for paws we just did in South Lens Falls. <laughs> that's great. Mm -hmm. We, yeah, it was a great outcome. Okay. Um, different, I, you know, contact different restaurants for like din dining for a cause, yeah. just different things. I just was at the mall during the Christmas season, mm -hmm. after Christmas season actually, mm -hmm. just, you know, um, setting out and, you know, people come by, they have questions, whatever, and mm -hmm. you know, try it, to uh, do what I can. As somebody who grew up with pets, it, uh, again, you know, you heard me at the beginning of the interview just talk about the relationship that you have with them, but you know what? It, it, Right now I have a cat, you know, and if I'm sitting at night and I'm on my computer or I'm watching television or something like that, I'd be lost if Sadie wasn't there, right? right? And I grew up in that household. But what I think is important to note is that an open house like this is an opportunity for you to bring your family in, check it out, you know, and talk to the experts to get an idea of how enriching it can be for your life to have a relationship with a pet. You know, uh, uh, embellish that a bit. Uh, talk about yourself. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sold. Um, I have a house full of pets. Uh, I have five cats, four dogs, we have three <laughs> bearded dragons, and a snake. So we have all sorts of pets. We enjoy them all immensely. Um, mm -hmm. And I can't imagine my life without them. I mean, it's not only just the companionship and... <laughs> and their vocal stylings, yes. but it's also when you rescue something and you see it come out of a dark place and mm -hmm. then you see it come and shine on its own and, and be its own unique being, it's just very satisfying. Now I just, I, a quick question, does a snake sit up and roll over or anything like that? <laughs> We're working or? on it, he's yeah, young. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the dragons don't bark, do they? No, no, okay. no they're very <laughs> quiet. I'm just checking. Uh, the open house is this Saturday, it's 10 to 3 o'clock, where is it? 
on 121 Warren Street at the um, GF K9, Glens Falls K9. Oh, got it. That's right near the uh, museum, the Children's yes. Museum. Yes. Mm -hmm. And right across from, is it Warren Tire? Yes. Yes, okay. So, uh, you know Warren Street and Glens Falls, if you just get to that circle and start down Warren Street, on the right-hand side is where we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Look for the Children's Museum or look for Warren Tire and look directly across the street. And uh, you're going to have pet vendors there, as well as dogs for adoption mm -hmm. and uh, support personnel as well, yeah, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, all the officers will be on staff so we can give kind of training and handling tips. Um, we are starting to offer some classes to help people manage their dogs, so we will have some flyers there with that. Mm. The facility we operate out of is a training and doggy daycare facility, so there's opportunities, you know, for people to get a look at that if they need that for their dogs. So mm -hmm. it's kind of, you know, bring your family kind of day and check things out, and uh, we'll have some prizes and that kind of uh, stuff. Should be fun. Now, the pets do go through kind of a rigorous program uh, if they need to be spayed or neutered. That's correct. Their shots are up to date. So you don't have to be concerned about any of that. And training to a degree, but anybody will tell you who owns a pet that you really, as you develop that relationship with the pet, that's where you really begin to understand the training. Mm -hmm. So at the open house, I really encourage you to do this. Uh, my whole life has is, is been very rewarded, rewarded by the relationship I've had with dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. it, um, it's this Saturday, the 28th, on Warren Street at, what's the name of the center? GFK9. GFK9. Uh, from 10 to 3, there'll be people there, staff there, a whole bunch of dogs looking for homes, mm -hmm. right? And you know what? I'm hesitating because I was just thinking of this story that I told you. I have a granddaughter who's five years old, mm -hmm. and she loves her dog so much that when the dog sleeps in the pen for whatever reason, she takes the picture of the dog and sleeps with the picture, oh, so mm. you know? And that starts at that age because her mother, who was our daughter, had a dog when she was five. Mm -hmm. so, yep. Well, thank you very much for coming in, and thank you for coming in, too. Hopefully Piper. we find this gal a home, you too. You to sing? Sing for us on the way out? <laughs> no, she's quiet. Thank you very much for coming in. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.